Hi, I'm Jonathan M0JSX and thanks for joining me for my roundup of the new products that we saw out of Dayton 2023 and a fairly short list and two of the products we've already spoken about here. So uh, let's uh, get started. Obviously, the two big products, if you want, uh, were the new handhelds from ICOM and from Kenwood, uh, the ID50 and the THD75. Both have D-Star, both have FM. Uh, I think we're looking at quite a price difference between the two, uh, but you can view my videos upon those two uh, different radios, links somewhere up there. But let's move on to things I haven't yet spoken about. And uh, the first thing that's uh, quite interesting to come out of Dayton uh, is a new QRP radio from QRP Labs. Now QRP Labs have been around for a little while and uh, I have to be honest, I, I've never played with any of their kit, but sort of admired what they're doing. Well, they've launched a new radio, which is the QMX, which is their five band, five watt digital transceiver. Uh, you can also uh, put a CW key into it as well. Prices here start at 95 US dollars. Uh, that's for an unassembled kit without a case. Uh, if you wanted it fully assembled, you add 50 dollars onto the price uh, it looks quite nice i'm quite tempted to get one of these it hooks up to your computer uh, and allows you to do the uh, sort of wshtx modes ft8 and jsa call and those types of modes what it won't do is multi-tone modes i understand so it won't do things like psk31 or even ssb uh, although there is some kind of hint on their website uh, that they may introduce that in the future with a firmware update, although they're quite vague about that. Uh, five bands it covers are 80, 60, 40, 30, and 20 meters. Uh, five watts out on all bands. Has a USB sound card on board with cat control as well. It looks like a really nice thing. If you just want a simple five watt radio, for playing with FT8, this is the perfect option. Okay, yeah, you're gonna to need to put an antenna on the on the end of it, as you would with any radio. And of course, you might need to consider an ATU if that antenna is non-resonant, but it looks quite good. And if you fancy, uh, probably be a few hours to build it if you wanted to build it, but no reason why you shouldn't. Uh, $95 the price to start from. Uh, cases, if you wanted to have a case as well, it's $20. And eh, there are options. But the headline figure, $95, gets you the kit. I think that's a, a really good price. Uh, the next thing launched at uh, Dayton was a brand new coax from Messi and Poloni. This is Messi and Poloni's Potaflex 7. Now, this hasn't yet hit any of the websites that I've found. However, uh, Mike K8MRD uh, has done a video with uh, Messi, Stefano Messi uh, from Messi and Poloni at Dayton. I'll link that just up there. Um, but essentially, it's a very similar performance to Messi and Poloni's Ultraflex 7, uh, but with uh, a lighter construction, so it weighs less if you're taking it out portable. Uh, and also a bright yellow colour as well. So the idea of that is if you're going out portable, you're going to want to be able to see it. And also you're going to want to have people not trip over it or crush it with cars and things like that. So making it bright yellow obviously makes that more visible out in the field. Uh, I'm sure we'll get details eventually. I know no more than that. As I go look at the video from Mike uh, if you want to know more. And the final product that I've seen come out of Dayton is the new Rig Expert antenna analyzer, the AA3000 Zoom, uh, covering 100 kilohertz through to three gigs. Uh, it looks quite impressive. It's got a nice big display on it that they're saying can easily be seen uh, in direct sunlight. I imagine we're looking at sort of a transflective display similar to that we see on uh, radio such as the uh, ID52 and the new uh, coming out soon, the THD75 as well. So it's high contrast with a low power consumption, uh, consistency and accuracy without prior recalibration, multilingual user interface and a built-in helper at the push of a button. It will also run off three uh, AA batteries by the looks of up to three alkaline or recharge batteries with a voltage between 1.2 volts to 3.7 volts. It looks really nice. No idea on price on that at the moment. Uh, Gigaparts have got it on uh, their website without a price currently. And we're going to be looking at several hundreds of pounds or dollars, insert your currency. But uh, if you wanted a antenna analyzer that you're never going to have to replace because it does everything, 
the a3000 zoom is probably going to be the one you want of course rig expert have still got all of the other range of their stock you know a35 a55 zooms they're all still going on but if you want something that literally covers dc through to basically daylight uh, then the new 3000 zoom might be the one for you and that's it as far as my Dayton Roundup goes. Short and sweet today. Uh, thanks very much for watching. If you have liked this video, there's a like button specifically for that. There's another button which seems to work nicely too. Uh, if you haven't already done so, please do click that subscribe button. It really does help me out. Uh, there's another video coming up just over here that the YouTube algorithm thinks that you might quite like next. Until the next time, 73. Bye-bye.